the largest ever whore in classic burn has been declared by Binance. This tweet you're currently viewing illustrates this perfectly. For all lunar traditional spot and margin trading pairs, Binance has announced that they will be implementing a burning process to destroy all trading fees. Here we witness Binance CEO Binance's statement that the Terra Lunar Classic burn mechanism will be put into place. Several meetings have been placed since my AMA last Friday to examine how Binance might better accommodate the Lunar Classic community's demand for attacks on burns. My final prediction was that they will add an opt-in button. Unfortunately, this is no longer the case. The dissatisfaction of the Lunar Classic fandom may be summed up in three main points. It will take a long time to perfect this strategy, and it won't even be effective. In other words, our business people won't approve. Ever since then, we've been debating the most efficient and effective means of aiding the neighborhood. We have instead decided to start burning any Lunar Classic BSD and Lunar Classic ULI spot and margin trading fees collected on Binance. These fees will be converted to Lunar and transferred to the burn address. Not the users but us. We're footing the bill for this burn. As a result, we can ensure a level playing field for all customers. Binance can still play a role in the community desired depletion of Lunar Classic supply without impacting the trading experience or liquidity. Obviously, this has massive implications. Consequently, as I previously stated, this is not the 1.2% burn that will be implemented on Binance. They are merely warming up the trade floor with this burn. Transfers to the burn wallet won't incur fees of more than 1.2%. So, while this isn't ideal, it will still cause untold amounts of terror, measured in the billions. As a result of this, as you can see, the price of Lunar Classic Classic has skyrocketed, increasing by 25% in the past couple of minutes alone, with Binance holding roughly 50% and doing 50% of the daily transaction volume. A dramatic increase, as can be seen. Over a billion have been produced so far, so... Binance's daily transaction volume will be around $500 million. That's a lot of commissions to pay when you trade. There has also been an update on the anticipated ignition time for the burn. Actually, it began a couple of days ago. That would be all the charges from the past few days. This originally occurred on September 21st, five days ago. However, it has been postponed until November 2nd. So, the complete ban or the initial ban will be implemented in about five or six days from the time I record this video. So, as I stated, the initial burn rate will be announced in around 5 days, which begs the question, how much of an effect will Binance's burn numbers have on the price? Of course we would be burning billions of tokens a day if it were 1.2% burn mechanism. My guess is that it won't get quite that high. Binance's fees are among the lowest in the industry. Still, with this burning proposal, I anticipate burning hundreds of millions to billions of tokens daily for Binance. And as I've already mentioned, that date is obviously going to be a very, very huge event in terms of a lot of speculation that is going to come in the market. People are already buying into the rumor, anticipating the massive price change. This is not the 1.2% burn. To repeat, this is only Binance's trading costs, the sheer amount of trades on Binance, however, guarantees that the exchange will earn hundreds of thousands, if not millions of dollars in trading fees from Luna Classic alone. That's still going to cost a lot of Luna every few weeks to convert into a classic in terms of the burn. Though, we all know that. Feel free to share your estimates of how severe the burns will be below. If you wish to read every piece, I will leave the links in the description. In this moment, it's clear that Terra Classic is erupting, smashing through those prior levels of resistance and support. If we're serious about making a break to the upside, we have to get past this key resistance level of 3 hours. The latest Binance Romper is not encouraging. If you enjoyed this video and want to see more content like it, subscribe to New Round's channel and we'll see you soon. Goodbye.